Okay, so I have a challenge that my dad presented to me to get to the moon, plant a flag, and return to Kerbin in as few launches as possible. So, and uh, on normal career mode, I am allowed revert. I can revert to the launch pad. I can use a quick save if I really needed to, but I tried to limit the amount of quick saves I was using. So the key here is that you really need to unlock a bunch of things as soon as possible, which means you need to um, maximize the science you can get. So on my first launch, I uh, wanted to get to um, upper atmosphere and also have as many um, mystery goos as possible. So one of the things that matters for science is you can get um, science in different biomes and in different situations. So you can be um, uh, I'll get into that more later. Um, basically uh, I'm trying to maximize the science that I take home and mystery goose for example uh, you can get like two-thirds of the amount of science total that you can ever get from a biome slash situation uh, by using one mystery goo. If you have a second mystery goo, you get another two-thirds of what's left and then another two-thirds of what's left um, and then another two-thirds of what's left. Basically three uh, sciences will get you all the points that you can get because I think that most you can get is point one um, or the, that's the smallest unit you can get and after three um, the fourth one pretty much gets you zero anyway so um, my uh, design here was I wanted to have uh, as much drag on the bottom as possible um, and usually I use fins but I decided that if I use these girders and use the little separator tool to pull it away a little bit more um, that worked good enough and then I didn't need to use any fins which made it so that I could use as many uh, actual boosters as I wanted and then the limit of 18 tons and 30 parts was actually the limiting factor um, if I could have more parts I might have used fins or just more honestly I was just using more um, solid, solid rocket boosters because I might have been able to actually get to space on the first try. I don't think that you can get to space on the first try, but I guess I could try a little bit harder. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to take any mystery goos, and the whole point is to get to um, to the moon, find a flag, and get back as soon as possible. So if I, instead of focusing on science, just really focus on getting to um, a suborbital uh, get a crew report from space, I, I don't think that that would have helped me a lot. So here I'm setting up so that I can get um, my mystery goos in lower atmosphere and upper atmosphere quickly. Um, I get my EVA, um, my crew report, and then while I'm out of the cockpit I take the data because the crew, um, the cockpit can only have one crew report in its thing at a time, but if you exit the vehicle, pull out the data, and then restore it, it allows you to get another crew report. And I think that the crew report in upper atmosphere is slightly more points than the one in lower atmosphere, and so I, I got that one first. Um, my second launch, I get the lower one, and then when I'm in space, uh, I think that I upgrade the mission and <clears throat> astronaut complex I think it is uh, so that I can do EVAs and then I pull out the data while I'm in space from the lower atmosphere and then get my crew reports from space after that so the separator between low atmosphere and upper atmosphere is 20 kilometers so I probably didn't actually need to fly quite as high. I could probably have flown a little bit more sideways I think the mountains get you more points I might have been able to get to the mountains it's still a little bit farther away from what I remember but 
either way um gotta get all these different three of each in each biome for the mystery goose and now it's just a matter of surviving getting back into the low atmosphere without getting too too fast so I want to keep my uh, cross section hitting the wind um, as big as possible and so if I can stay sideways for as long as possible I'm gonna slow it I'm gonna be slower down slowed down from the drag of wind and um, eventually I go fast enough that the uh, the cockpit really just wants to point forward so I start spinning I'm not sure if this is really necessary it's probably not but I, I start spinning the um the cockpit so that I could actually um, get a little bit more cross-section of drag so I'm going 600 meters per second at 11 kilometers high I just was worried that I might not slow down enough but in hindsight I think that it probably is unnecessary with 12 mystery goose dragging me down because I mean I'm not getting a whole lot more cross-section there anyway so as soon as you get down to the mid 200s meters per second then you can safely do your parachute now as soon as you get to the ground you gotta remember to um, hear me. I just stayed up really late to watch the Crew Dragon launch for the first time and that was pretty cool. Anyway, when you get to the ground you need to exit the cockpit, take the data out from the upper atmosphere and get an EVA and then go back in the cockpit and then do another crew report. Now if I had aimed at the shore instead of the, high, uh, the grasslands, I might have been able to get a little bit more science by going to walking over to the water, getting any view report in the water, or even in the best case, maybe like rolled the um, rolled the vehicle down the shore into the water and gotten a second um, second thing. So since I fell out of the cockpit, I had to recover my vessel. So here I'm going to decide what to upgrade: um, basic rocketry. Uh, general rocketry engineering one survivability so all these things I need in order to be able to get back into the atmosphere on my second flight so I'm gonna get into orbit on my second flight and I need to be able to safely get back so there's the upgrade of the launch pad I need to get my other um, missions so I can get some funding uh, getting to orbit click it Lick it. There you go. I'm not sure why I was staring at that for so long. Um, so I do need to upgrade uh, the mission control and I think the um, astronaut complex at some point. But I'm trying to decide whether I'm doing that now or later. And I decide I'm just gonna I'm just gonna build my rocket first. Anyway, so we'll come back in the next part and discuss how to build my next ship.